Hello from sunny Stockholm to Washington DC, my hometown. And congratulations to SAC USA on its 25th anniversary, a quarter of a century of doing great trade and commercial diplomacy between the US and Sweden. And what a remarkable record you already have. SAC USA is the second largest European Chamber of Commerce operating in the United States. As US Ambassador to Sweden over the last 20 months, one of the best kept secrets that I've learned more about is the remarkable trade and business relationship between Sweden and the United States. Trade between the two countries averages $25 billion annually. That's a remarkable number for a country, Sweden, of 9 million people. Over the years, Sweden has invested $39 billion in the United States and is responsible for 177,000 American jobs. Conversely, the United States has invested over the years $23 billion in Sweden and is responsible for 77,000 jobs here. Sweden is the 12th largest investor in the United States. So it's a remarkable record and part of this result is thanks to the great work of SAC USA over the last 25 years. But here's a challenge for all of us. We can do even better and we have two opportunities to do so. In February, President Obama announced the initiation of negotiations of a United States European Union free trade agreement. This is a historic opportunity to harmonize not just regulatory regimes between the US and Europe and the US and Sweden, but to harmonize efficiencies, technologies, and values. From the standpoint of US Embassy Stockholm, in the end, the US EU FTA is all about people. It'll result in more inclusion, more cohesion, and more security in Europe. It'll also result in real prosperity and real jobs, which is in the collective interest of all of us. Forecasters say that if we consummate the US-EU free trade agreement, it will result in a 17% increase in Swedish exports to the United States and a 15% increase in US exports to Sweden. More generally, it will result in a 20% increase in exports between Europe and the United States. That is an incredible opportunity that we cannot afford to miss, but it is incumbent on us to do what we can to convey to policymakers and decision makers that this is an important and timely step that we need to make. We need to make it on behalf of our businesses and behalf of, on our, of our children and grandchildren and the next generation. So that's the first opportunity. The second opportunity is to build on an incredible initiative by President Obama to promote foreign investment into the United States. To take innovations and businesses that are overseas but suitable for American scale and think of them when it comes to Sweden in the IT sector alone, connective technologies like Spotify, Skype, iZettle, Klarna. Innovations in Sweden, perfect for American scale. And Select USA is an initiative within the Department of Commerce that is designed to facilitate that investment, to help overseas investors get past perceived and actual roadblocks on their way to becoming corporate participants in the American economy. And it's not just an initiative that has an office and a desk in Washington. There's going to be a large conference in Washington, D.C. at the end of October that will bring foreign investors from around the world to meet directly with decision makers, policy makers, regulators, people who can facilitate the actual investment from overseas into the United States. That conference will occur in Washington. And for those of you who are working with Swedish businesses that have that possibility of investing and participating in the American scale of, the, of an economy that's unparalleled in terms of opportunity and legal certainty, I urge you to get them to participate. 
And so those are two opportunities that we have to build on this remarkable trade relationship that SAC USA has participated in the nurturing of over the last 25 years. I salute you all today in Washington, and I can't wait to see what you do in the next 25 years. Thank you very much.